guys, Leah of LA Rock Counting, and I have been following what seems to be a crystal trail of sorts in my cornfield here, in my cornfield here, and I am seemingly hitting it pretty lucky. This is, this doesn't happen that often in this cornfield. Uh, I'm gonna clean these up and show you guys later, but this is kind of an impromptu episode nine, but. Here we go. We're gonna film episode nine, guys. Um, but yeah, I'm just I'm kind of following. Um, I'm following the left and right of these cornfield of this cornfield here. I'm just finding stuff all over the place. I'm trying to like. Um, here's another one. But uh, sorry about the blurriness, guys. But you can kind of kind of see that. Um, I'm just following trying to follow like where these crystals are and look at that side of the cornfield and then that side and kind of like ping pong back and forth and that's how I've been I've been finding all these it's 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 crazy guys oh my gosh I just love rock counting guys I love rock counting especially I love rock counting for, um, for crystals it's just it's nothing quite like that feeling you get but yeah I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep trying to look uh, back and forth here because I feel like if I follow the pattern I might find something or more most definitely um, those pieces are kind of broken I'm not gonna take those but uh, I will cut to when I next find something uh, this is our next find it does not stop it does not stop this is this is complete madness guys this is absolute complete madness. Wow. Alright. See you guys next find. Alright guys, so this is going to be the end of the episode before I clean off my finds here, but um, I figured out, I believe I figured out how I'm finding these guys. At first, I fought those big dirt piles that are on each side of this cornfield here, the four entrances that were made, I thought that that's where I could be finding some crystals every time it rains right now. But that's not true. In fact, something completely different is true, something I didn't expect. I don't know why it didn't click in my head, but I've got it now. So what's actually happening is the way the cornfield is set up right now with these pathways, when it rains, it's actually flushing crystals out from in between these stalks, which seems to be where possible pockets are, it's flushing the crystals out, and then it's getting them, it's getting them stuck under these stalks, which is a big reason why I'm going to bring a garden rake with me next time I'm here, as well as it's depositing them on the sides here that are accessible and you can search through. So that's what's happening. It's raining. It's flushing the crystals down that way in between these stalks and possibly there's probably more under these down stalks too so definitely gonna bring a rake for our next episode of the Lehigh Valley Rock Counting. Lehigh Valley Rock Counting. Sorry guys I am really tired. It's been a long day it's been a pretty bad day but this definitely makes up for it. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share and I'll see you guys in a few seconds. But yeah, this is arguably one of the best pieces that we found um, on the cornfield. And of course, uh, you got these guys right here. Got this nice little cluster right here that we found. Let's give it a moment to, there you go, reassess. But uh, yeah, this is everything I found, you guys. Um, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share, as well as remember, I'm uploading every single Friday, so if you guys don't want to miss all the next exciting episodes of Lehigh Valley Rock Counting, remember to keep tuned. Also, since I did make a post about it on the Pennsylvania Rock Hounds Facebook group, and you all guys, um, all of you guys seemed pretty, uh, pretty, um, on board with me um, uh, making a showcase video of all my finds from the cornfield. I'm going to be doing that for either my next episode or either the one following it. 
Anyway, guys, I'll see you later. Ciao.